everybody here's an update on the Toshiba satellite laptop that just replaced my Dell Instrument 1525 laptop well this thing ain't doing so hot I just you know you may have seen the video where I had just swapped out the processor in this from that Sandy Bridge Pentium to the Ivy Bridge Core i3 well the laptop is you know amazingly fast for the most part and stability wise it runs fine you know as stable as I'll get out as you can see startup is extremely fast you know it starts up very fast you know but there's one thing about this thing that's being a little bit of an issue it just randomly cuts off. It doesn't overheat. Temperatures are fine. Stress tests it didn't get no higher than 65 degrees C, which is typical for laptops. But just out of nowhere, just out of random, maybe about every 5 to 30 minutes or so, it will just cut off. <clears throat> Not like, you know, shutting down, it just bam, cuts off like you unplug power from a desktop PC. Just bam, cuts off. And I can start right back up and it will just, you know, continue where it, basically where, kind of where it left off. And of course, you know, any unsaved work would get lost. But yeah, this randomly cuts off. So the other day I had some free time and I decided to tear this thing open. And I noticed a couple of things that were a little disturbing. Now you guys may recall how this USB port here is broken. The whole centerpiece is gone. Well, I found that piece. Take a look at this picture. Yeah, that was just laying inside the machine. Probably up against the motherboard somewhere, shorting it out. But if you think that's bad, I'll just wait and look at this picture. Yeah, that is a loose integrated circuit. A very, you know, a small chip somewhere from this board. Not sure what it's for. A little bitty integrated circuit. And that was just broken off the board. Don't know how it got broken off. Don't know how long it's been like that. Somehow or another, I don't know how it didn't display this problem before I swapped out that processor, but I mean, it worked it worked perfectly fine before I swapped out the processor. But I seriously doubt swapping in that Core i3 would cause the random power off issue. You know, when you see the broken USB port, that's one thing, but when you see an IC just randomly just, you know, get popped off the board. Yeah, obviously the motherboard is is um, it's on borrowed time. You need to replace it. So we're going to be replacing the motherboard in this. But you know, it'd be too awful boring if I was just replacing the motherboard with another motherboard just like this. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're converting this from Intel to AMD. This won't be the first time I've done such a thing with a laptop. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the last time I done it was with a Toshiba laptop. So kind of interesting to note. And here's, you know, here's where I got the idea of doing so. So basically, a while back I had um, parted out an HP, I think it's a G7 II, or not sure, not, I can't remember the exact model of laptop. I think it's a G7 II. I um, parted it out and got this. Now this motherboard does in fact work, I do think. Can't remember for sure, but I no longer had the actual laptop. Actually, no, take it back. This one is actually, this motherboard here is actually dead. The one that was actually working had broken USB ports. <laughs> it was heavily used. But, um, yeah. We have an AMD A6 APU on here. And I figured, you know, I was looking online for, you know, Toshiba Satellite C855 motherboards. I happened to find some ones that were AMD based. And, you know, I compared the picture. I open, when I opened this up, I took a picture of the motherboard. And I just used it as a reference, looked at the pictures on eBay, and saw that, you know, this motherboard is exactly the same, it's just an AMD version. So I figured, hey, I could actually repurpose one of those, um, those AMD A6 APUs that I have for laptops. You know, I do like, I do like um, AMD's APUs, they're, they're relatively nice. You know, if I was going to be using an AMD-based laptop, it would be an APU-based one. Because otherwise, you know, AMD has had issues. Well, not AMD themselves, but the manufacturers 
have had reliability issues when using a traditional Northbridge Southbridge based AMD platform with either let's say you know an NVIDIA graphics solution or an AMD graphics solution. It'd be the cl it was the, it'd be the classic Northbridge overheating issue. Well, the the Northbridge itself I don't think overheats. It's just um, the BGA um, joints under the chip, but you know between the chip and the board would crack. And of course I could reflow the board and get it back up and running for a while, but um, it wasn't guaranteed. I did that to a Sh Toshiba satellite machine that's in my closet somewhere. And it um you know it worked for quite a while. I actually did some Windows 10 beta testing on it, but eventually the video would start to just completely go away after a certain amount of time of having a machine on. Once it got hot, the video was just gone. So not very reliable. And yes, I know it's just been jabbering on quite a lot. So let's go ahead and um, show you something here. So let's just go and see what kind of APU we have here. Just before we continue on. Since I'm going to be parting this out anyway. By the way, I already have a motherboard for this. Got it off eBay for $42. So not too bad considering what came with it, which you'll see in a minute. Just curious what AP we have under here. If it's worth reusing or... Well, you'll, you'll see in a minute. Doing this one handed. This is the um, A63400M series APU. Okay. So, anyways, um, yeah. Decided to order a board off of um, eBay and it arrived today. And let me go and show it to you. And what's really cool about this. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't mentioned at all in the listing, from what I remember. But the seller was generous enough to include the APU that came with this and the Wi-Fi card. <laughs> nice enough. I'll probably just swap the Wi-Fi card for another one to keep the same MAC address. One well, and also so that way I don't have to reconnect every single Wi-Fi hotspot I have saved. It went over and beyond with this packaging. So I paid $42 for this. This is the motherboard from a Toshiba Silent CA55, but rather the AMD version. And the reason why I'm not really concerned about reusing that APU when it last ported is because this APU is better. The last one was a 3400M series. This one's a 4400M series. It's an AMD A6. So, yeah. Cool. So now, let's just uh, figure, you know, let's go ahead and, um, I guess I'll open this up here on video. So, yeah, as you saw, the, um, the motherboard... <clears throat> this thing likes to power on when you open the lid. I'm going to take out the battery. And let's go and get started on this.
Let's see. And this right here. If I get this to pop off, that'd be great. These Toshiba laptops, you gotta be careful with them because they are very fragile. That's why I may sometimes call them Toshidas rather than Toshibas. There, finally. Okay, so there's our board. Let's go ahead and take the Wi-Fi card out because we are going to we are going to swap it over. You know something funny, guys? <laughs> this is an Intel branded wireless card. Just for the just for the freaking irony, I'm going to swap this in with this AMD APU based motherboard. <laughs> yeah, have an Intel branded NIC and um on the AMD based system. Won't be the first time I've done that. I remember years ago with the had this old Intel 10100 LAN card that I hooked up to a um to an AMD based machine. Yeah it worked just fine, of course. <laughs> so one screw pops the board loose. Set it hopefully I can keep track of it. Now the thing about this thing is um, you have some cords up on the bottom side that getting access to is kind of hit or miss. Now before I go any further with this, I'm going to take this cooler off here and see if it will swap over to the AMD based machine. And that's a good question because I looked online several times. And because you, you can also, sellers also sell these heat pipe coolers um, individually for like like five to ten dollars or so. And of course, I'm not taking this off in the, in the um, stamp number pattern. It really matters most for assembly. But I'm curious to see. Before I go any further with this, let's see if it will actually install on this AMD baseboard. We're going to leave our existing APU on there, as I mentioned. I mean, the most power you can get, I'd say go for it. Very, very nice of the seller <laughs> to include that for us. Now let's see if this will actually bolt up. Or if I'm going to have to go on eBay and buy another cooler. Well, what do you know? I, I, I think... I think that's going to work out just perfectly fine. Cool. So now just to clean this up and clean that up and apply some fresh thermal paste. Let's go and get our existing board out of the machine first though. I figured why not. So now let's take our fan loose. These two screws that hold it in. Mm -hmm. And then after of course you disconnect it, just pull it right out, set it to the side. And on the bottom of this motherboard we have let's see, several connectors. We have ones for Either speakers or mic. We have several down here. So just keep that in mind and try to remember where exactly where they go. That's the most fun part of this whole thing. This thing definitely goes together differently than what you normally see. 
obviously the touchpad disconnected itself. There's a keyboard. And our, vid our video connection. It goes to our display and webcam. And the motherboard is out. And I'll tell you guys, I've looked this entire board over numerous times. And couldn't seem to figure out where that, uh, that broken off IC used to go. It looks something like that right there. I know the focus ain't really there, but it looked just like that one there, basically. I've looked this entire thing over and couldn't seem to figure out where it goes. I'm trying to figure out how the um, how that USB port got so mangled up so badly. <laughs> Man, people treat their machines like crap, don't they? All right, I'll be setting that to the side. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let me grab some stuff to clean up our CPU and your, our APU with, and I'll be right back. Okay. Let me have a paper towel here. Set this to the side for now. And let's go ahead and clean that APU off. Amazingly, yeah. It looks like I'm going to get to keep the existing cooler. This one, that will make this the easiest Intel to AMD conversion I've ever done to a laptop. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Intel setup on there. I mean, it's like it was a Core i3. <clears throat> so it had, it was a dual core processor with HT. And I believe this A6-4400M is, is a quad core. Not 100 certain, but we'll find out once we, once we get it all together. The, the, the die on this APU is a lot hu is a lot larger than the die on the um, on the Intel chips. Now, depending on numerous factors, it could be both a good thing or a bad thing. The Intel was based on a 22 nanometer um, process. I'm thinking this AMD is probably based off of a 32 or something like that. There's probably Intel Intel guys out there. That's why nail polish remover is such a good thing to use when cleaning because it's alcohol based. Stuff evaporates really, really fast. So we're going to clean off our our cooler. I'll tell you guys, I'll be honest with you, um, when I was looking for a replacement laptop, I was kind of intending on getting one that had an A6 APU in it, so this is a kind of a win-win for me. Nothing wrong with that Intel setup, though, I mean, it, but the motherboard was damaged, so, yeah, <laughs> you know how that goes. So we're going to put a, um... Put a small amount of thermal paste on here. Yeah, but there should be plenty. Now, for those of you who, who like to just put a blotch on the center and then put your cooler on, when you're installing, when you're, when you're putting paste on to um, CPUs and chips that have just an exposed die like this, you'll make sure that the whole, that the whole thing's being covered because this whole thing is actually your chip. 
not a heat spreader. So keep that in mind, definitely. Definitely keep that in mind. These APUs do put out some heat. Trust me, I'm I'm aware of it. Big time. So we want to make sure that we that the entire thing is getting some thermal paste on it. Good even spread there. Not nearly as much got wasted this time versus when I'd done the Intel chip. So I'm a, so yeah, I'm, I'll just go ahead and attach this right now. I could I could wait till later on, but I figure since I've already applied the normal paste to the um to the APU, might as well go ahead and attach it now. So I torque this down, it's gonna be one two, three, four for a screw sequence. Okay, it's ready for installation. Go ahead and um, swap out the wireless card before I forget. It's good to have a few extra Wi-Fi cards on hand because I have seen them fail. Not the most common thing, but I have seen them quit. Literally, literally, I have. So we're going to have an extra screw here, obviously. I'm going to go to reassemble this thing. I think it was this screw right here. Set it to the side so I don't confuse myself. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Here's the tricky pro process, getting all those cables reattached that are on the bottom side. Yeah, it's going to be a little, a little bit tricky. Shouldn't be too awful bad though. Hopefully get most of this on video. Okay, that's the video. And we have this connector here, which I believe is our speakers and maybe the mic.
We have a little bit of connector here that goes in, right here. Yeah, it is a, it's a tiny little thing too. There's that. And the keyboard and, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the keyboard and the um, touchpad. That's going to be tricky. Because they sure don't give you a lot of cable to work with here. So if I don't get all this on video, sorry. <laughs> So that looks to be in there. And a touchpad. I quite literally have to do this while I'm let's see while I'm setting this down in here. If that went in all the way. If not, we'll find out when we turn the thing on and test it. Uh, quite literally. Let's go ahead and line up our stuff. And it's like when you're reassembling a thing, it's like every everything possible that will get in your way gets in your way let's go ahead and reattach our motherboard screws this one screw but of course, when you put the laptop together, or other screws thread through the motherboard. If he wasn't aware of that, <laughs> but we had this one screw that holds it in. Otherwise, okay. Let's go and reinstall our fan. Make sure it fits in there properly. Okay, um, had a little bit of an issue here, but I was able to make a workaround for it. And this is why I sometimes call um, Toshiba laptops Toshiba laptops. Such a little bitty difference in design between the Intel and AMD ones. You know, with the, with the CA55 models. The cooler bolts right up, obviously, as you had seen. Yeah, it bolted right up. No problems there. But the fan. Yeah, get this. The fan, or at least the, um, the heat pipe on the AMD version, is supposed to um, go. You see, basically, the heat pipe for the AMD version should stick out probably another 2 millimeters to the right versus what the Intel one does. So, when you mount an Intel cooler, you know, one off one of the Intel machines onto the AMD one, the socket basically is positioned about 2 millimeters to the left versus the Intel version. So the fan theoretically won't fit, but I was able to make it fit in here like this. So just attach this one screw here. The fan is sort of angled just a little bit. So the fan is, you know, it's attached and it's secured in there. But um, yeah, I don't see why it'd be any problem. So we're going to go ahead and finish assembling this thing. So yeah, just one minor, one minor little issue there. I don't think it was worth my time of having to wait to get a different cooler for this thing over something as simple as that. So, now, 
go ahead and take the RAM modules off the other board and just swap them over. On the AMD version C855 motherboard, the the um the DIMMs going upside, you know, going the other direction. Like in, on the Intel one, the notch is over here. On the AMD one, the notch is over here. It's such little things. The only other minor little difference I see is the CMOS battery location. The CMOS battery is over here on the Intel one. It's over here on the AMD one. But the bottom plate compensates for both. It has holes for both. So, that shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to show you once I get it back together. Okay, so our DIM modules are in there. Or so DIM modules, rather. I'm going to finish hooking up these cables over here. It's our USB. Our power jack. Yeah, I've had to replace a few <laughs> Toshiba power jacks from time to time. So if you're scrapping out Toshiba laptops, they're a good thing to hang on to. Go ahead and reconnect our Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, we should be all clear to go ahead and put this thing back together. Yep, as you might be able to see, the CMOS battery instead of being over here, it's now over here. Let's go ahead and reattach our screws. I'm going to reattach this while we're at it, the um, DB drive. Now before I actually start this up, well, go ahead and reattach this. Before I actually start this up, I gotta reattach a screw that came loose from the um, lid. Yeah, it just popped right out. Matter of fact, the um, the cover still stuck right to it. Must have just walked itself out over time. I should be able to get it. Sneak it right in. It did have Loctite on it, so I'm not sure why it walked itself out. Who knows? And 
now we'll go ahead and reattach your battery and be the moment of truth see if it works eBay seller said the board was in working condition alrighty let's go for it We have life. And Windows 10 is going to have to ins probably install a bunch of drivers now. And I'll have to reactivate it. Yep. Our fan is working. And I feel, feel some heat over there. So we know our APU is getting cooled. Now I imagine this APU is going to probably run hotter than the Core i3 that was in here. It's already recognized our wireless card. Get online so that way we can let Windows 10 get drivers. As you can see, our, our desktop is like kind of crunched down right now. I guess now would be a good time to see if our, um, if our APU is getting hotter or anything like that. Yeah, that does that doesn't look good. But let me explain something about this number here. Normally I'll be freaking out right now, but almost every single A6 APU I've ever dealt with has actually shown a temperature that was way above what the actual temperature was. Metal Lux Black Max is, is a fine example of this. And in the Black Max, um, let's see. The Black Max commonly says it's like running at 60 something degrees Celsius, but the motherboard reports a much smaller, a much lower temperature. Almost every APU system I've built was like this. You can see um, the motherboard sensor up here. You can see what temperature it's actually reporting. Between 40 to 68, so much much bigger difference there now this APU here is in fact a quad core no it's actually oh no actually it's a dual core I meant to say yep cores too so it has less logical processors than the um, than the core i3 did Yeah, we still need to get drivers for a video and things like that. Of course, you guys all run Classic Shell in Windows 10. So we get this straightened out, we'll continue where we left off. Okay, all our drivers have been installed. And yeah, looks like everything's good to go. Now in regards to that temperature I told about told you about earlier, I looked online and it seems to be very common for the A6 4400 m to have um, to report very, very high core temps. 
you know, if you look, if you just do a Google search, I mean, it's it's right there. It tells you that you know, there's lots of forum posts of people having that issue. So in a case like this, you know, the the, the fan on the laptop is barely even on. It's like low right now. I'm just gonna go by what this you know temperature here says. I link it at about 41 degrees C, and it gets up to about 72, I think, something like that. Which for laptops, that's that's okay. Um, so. Yeah. Now to be honest with you, you know, I had the choice of you know possibly getting an Intel based laptop, or an Intel based motherboard. But you know, I'm satisfied with this. Yeah, right there was actually pretty nice too, though. But um, provided this thing no longer has the randomly cutting off issue, I think I'm gonna be okay. You see now that it's idled down, it's estimating our battery to be at three hours and thirty minutes. So it may not be quite as efficient as the Ivy Bridge Intel, but eh, it's okay with me. Let's go ahead and do a restart on camera, shall we? With the SSD. And that's without the fast startup. Once we get logged in here, I'll show you fast startup. See, it's shutting down right now. Yeah, with Windows 8 and Windows 10, it blanks. I'll get it shut off. With Windows 8 and Windows 10, it blanks your, your display when it shuts down if you're in fast startup mode. Alright, let's go for fast startup mode. Let's see how fast it goes. Couldn't even do a complete pass of the circle. You gotta love SSD performance, I'd definitely have to say that. It's definitely fast enough for me. And amazingly, Windows 10 did not need to be reactivated with this multiple replacement. Now, if it was an exact replacement, I'd say, yeah, that's kind of be expected, but we went from an Intel to an AMD platform here. And it's a, it's a digital entitlement um, activation as well, so <laughs> it's amazing it didn't even ask for reactivation. So anyways, there you go. We just converted this um, this Toshiba Intel laptop to an AMD-based laptop. Now, if the existing board this was working okay, I probably, you know, I, I probably would have stuck with the Intel-based setup, and I think it actually may be a little faster. But... I'm, I'm still satisfied um, <laughs> that that board there had issues, as um, you heard me mention earlier. So it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.